Stephen Sinatra, who was a cardiologist from back east, was attending a convention. And we sat down with Stephen and told him the story of what I was doing. I said, well, if you're affecting pain, he says, you need to be researching inflammation. You don't have arthritis, you don't have cancer, you don't have all these health disorders. What you have is chronic inflammation. To me at the time, inflammation was you sprain an ankle and it balloons up and gets red and it's sore and it's inflamed. And he says, no, he says inflammation is different than that. We have so much inflammation in the body and it comes out in illnesses. We go to a doctor with all these complaints, but a lot of it is silent inflammation, including my specialty, heart disease. Heart disease is an inflammatory process. So how do we reduce inflammation? The most abundant protein in the body is collagen. It's the building block of our tissues. And we have gazillions of collagen molecules in our bodies. They are all embedded in a gel. This gel has a huge surface area and it absorbs electrons and releases them when you have an injury. Inflammation is produced by neutrophils, which is a white blood cell. You have an injury, you have a damaged cell. And so these white blood cells come over and they encapsulate the damaged cell and they release reactive oxygen species, which rip electrons from the damaged cell and that destroys the damaged cell. White blood cells release free radicals at the injury site. They chew up any pathogens, bacteria, or dead cells. They clear the area. It's called the repair field. It's the place that needs to be repaired. Without earthing, some of the free radicals that are released into the repair field leak into the surrounding tissue. If there's not enough free electrons there to reduce the remaining radicals, they're gonna steal an electron from a healthy cell and in the process damage it. Then the message goes out to the immune system and another neutrophil does the same thing, eliminates that cell, and then you end up with a chain reaction. And this can create chronic inflammation, silent inflammation. You may not even know it's there and it continues for years. If inflammation is the cause of all these health disorders, then I know that not enough rounding is the cause of inflammation because if the body is grounded, you can't have inflammation.